Interactivity Log, or MAL, is a key outcome measure used in CIMT programs. The MAL is a structured interview comprised of a series of questions looking at how much and how well the person is able to use their more affected arm outside of the therapy setting. The MAL is comprised of two scales, the amount of use scale and the how well scale, which rates their quality of arm movement across 30 set functional activities. We're now going to work with Nicole in completing the MAL. Nicole is a 25 year old stroke survivor. Nicole, the purpose of this test is to examine how much and how well you use your more affected arm when you're not in our clinic. You will use two separate rating scales, which you can see here, to describe how much and how well you use your weaker arm while you are doing specific activities. If for some reason you do not perform these tasks, we'll try to determine why. It's important that you realise that these questions are about what you actually do outside of the clinic, not what you think you might be able to do with your weaker arm. There are no right or wrong answers. Simply select the ratings you believe best describe what you do. Please understand that I must follow a script with this procedure. So we'll start off with the amount scale. You can see here it runs from zero to five. At a zero, you do not use your weaker arm at all for the activity that we're discussing. At a two, you sometimes use your weaker arm, but do the activity most of the time with your stronger arm. And at a five, you're using your weaker arm as often as you did before the stroke. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll begin then. In the past week, have you used your weaker arm to turn on a light with a light switch? Not really. I think I've used the um, 1.5 on the scale. Okay, so somewhere between rarely or occasionally using your weaker arm, but only very rarely, yeah. and sometimes using your weaker arm. What about in the past week, have you used your weaker arm to remove an item of clothing from a drawer? I think I use my affected arm half as much as I used to. Okay, so at about a three? Yeah. All right. Okay, so Nicole, we'll now move on to completing the How Well scale. You can see here again that it's from zero to five and you can score half marks in between. Uh, we're looking at the quality of your movement now um, in the weaker arm. So at a zero, the weaker arm was never used at all for that activity. At a three, the weaker arm was used for the purpose indicated, but movements were slow or were made with only some effort. At a five, the ability to use the weaker arm for that activity was as good as before the stroke. Okay, so um, going back to the activities now, over the past week, how well have you been able to use your weaker arm to wash your hands? Two, because I can't afford the water, it's too hot. Okay. Over the past week, how well have you been able to use your weaker arm to open the refrigerator? To five. Okay, yeah. so um, you're able to do it as good as before the stroke. Okay. Yeah. Can you demonstrate to me what that would look like? Okay, very good. <laughs> We're going to check in now with Nicole, who's on day three of her two week CIMT program. During the treatment phase of the CIMT program, the Motor Activity Log, or MAL, is completed daily as part of the transfer package. Only the How Well scale is completed, alternating between the first 15 items and the second 15 items on each day of the program. Okay, Nicole, so you're now a couple of days into your CIMT program. So we're just going to start off by doing the motor activity log again, asking you how well you've been able to use your arm when doing some specific activities. Okay, so we're going to use the how well scale again that goes from zero to five. All right, ready to start. So in the past two days, Nicole, can you tell me how well have you been able to use your weaker arm to brush your teeth? So it's like normal. Yeah. Okay. 
the past two days, how well have you been able to use your weaker arm to pick up a glass bottle, drinking cup or can? It's very, very close to normal. Mm -hmm. So I'd say four and a half. Okay. At the end of the two week CIMT program, the motor activity log is again completed as a post-treatment outcome measure. At this point in time, you're required to complete both the amount of use scale and the how well scale. Each scale is scored separately, uh, added up in total, and then divided by the number of activities that were performed to reach a final score. This can then be used for comparison to baseline.